The long vigil begins as the stars fade from the sky. The temperature is below freezing, and the sun is yet to rise over the Sierra Oscura Mountains in southwestern New Mexico. With cameras and binoculars, they make their way to the flight deck at the Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge. For experienced birders, this is the essential pilgrimage. The sky brightens. Eyes watering in the cold wind scan the horizon looking for... There! With a whoosh and an unstoppable wonking, the snow geese rise. They swirl and circle, a cacophonous mess of flapping wings. White, black, white, black, white, black. I come here because it's simply majestic. The landscape, the sky, the water, the birds, the sounds. So we come out to the Bosque to see the birds fly. I mean, you know, the way they swirl around, the thousands of them. I think birds are really rad. <laughs> and it, it looks really cool when they fly up in flocks and it's pretty much worth the time. It's really cold, it's windy as heck, but it's worth it just to see this real little piece of nature that's just wonderful. Located in the floodplain of the Rio Grande, the Bosque is 57,000 acres of canals, dikes, border ponds, and open fields of grass and corn. It's carefully managed to ensure that there will always be a food source for the birds wintering here. These birds, these sandhill cranes, have come down from Gray's Lake in northeastern Idaho. It's a journey of around 2,500 miles. The birds will stay here, they'll winter, they'll eat a good combination of corn, milo, and alfalfa. They'll grow strong for the winter. Once the weather starts to warm, the birds will start rising up in the thermals that come out of this valley. As the birds pick up the thermals, they'll go up higher and higher until finally they totally disappear and they've left for the summer. Watch this, watch this group out here. Watch this group out here. There you go. Okay, look, see the one that's walking to the left? Oh, and his head with down. His, with his uh -huh. head down. With their sheer numbers and brilliant white feathers, the snow geese provide the spectacle. But for resident expert Robert Cridenier and many others, it's the sandhill cranes that provide the mystique. Cranes are the oldest bird species in the world. Fossils suggest they've been around six million years or so. And when viewed en masse, they exhibit behaviors, mannerisms, and personality unlike any found in the avian world. For Cridenier and self-described craniac Paul Tebble and the group of birders that they brought out with them to the berm, this is high drama indeed. Cranes are great ambassadors for nature, They're great ambassadors for the wild. They're a good connector between what's happening in nature and what, what people really should care about. So in other words, the nature's out there and it's neat to see and it's neat to learn about, but they need a connection. Tebel and other experts come to the Bosque to participate in the Festival of the Cranes. Six days of birding tours, field seminars, and exhibits that are organized each year the week before Thanksgiving. While non-birders may find it strange to attend a lecture on duck butts, sparrow banding, and avian spirituality, the Bosque casts a spell, turning cynics into aficionados in no time. And so we're going to go out and watch these little geese take off. It's 5.45 a.m., and a yellow school bus of festival goers is rumbling along one of the Bosque's dirt roads on its way to the morning flyout. If cranes are great ambassadors for the wild, then volunteer guide Joy McKenna is their most enthusiastic champion. McKenna finds that these fields and these marshes provide for most people a spiritual experience. To watch these birds and to witness their grandeur is to try to bridge the gap between the wilderness and our own civilized natures. It is an experience that still touches her. Oh, there they go. Isn't that wonderful? Why do people come to the Bosque del Apache? I think the answer is quite simple. You feel your pulse settle down, your heart rate slows, your breathing grows deeper. Somehow these birds in this place is deep inside of us, whether we know it's there or not. Come to the Bosque and you'll become familiar with part of yourself and a part of yourself inside this natural world that surrounds us. This is Thomas Kerwin, the Los Angeles Times.